Natoli Engineering produced this instructional video to teach tooling installation and press setup in a rotary tablet press. This video will also detail how to set up the press in a thorough step-by-step -step approach. In this chapter, we'll discuss the installation of round tooling. Round tooling is the simplest tooling to install on a tablet press. First thing you need to do when you're setting a press up is make sure the punch guides are clean. You take a guide brush, run it through the upper a couple times, make sure no product's coming out, make sure your guides are nice and clean, and then run it through the lower. Cleaning the guides helps keep the press lubrication clean for a cleaner running machine. Be thorough using a brush designed for turret guide cleaning. After we clean the punch guides, we take a die seat cleaner, insert it into the die pocket, rotate it around to remove any debris out of the bottom of the die pocket. This allows your die to sit flush in the pocket, flush with the turret. Once the die seat cleaner is in place, rotate it clockwise while applying constant downward pressure to thoroughly clean the die pocket. You take a die and insert it into a die insertion ring. With the die inserted into the die insertion ring, place it on the die table and center it over the die pocket. You can start inserting the die and push it as far as you can down the die pocket with your fingers. Once there, take the die driving rod, insert it into the upper punch guide, and tap the die into place, seating it firmly. Then take the die insertion ring and run it over the die table to verify the die is seated and flush with the die table. After the die is seated firmly in the die pocket, take a die lock and insert it into the die lock hole. Snug it up to the die. First, tighten down by hand and then a few clicks of the wrench is all you need to torque down the die. After the die is seated into the die pocket, and we take the die driving rod, tap up through the lower guide on the bottom of the die. What we're doing is verifying that the die lock screw is holding the die down. Once complete, then take your insertion ring one last time across the die table to make sure your die has not moved. The next step, install the lower punch. Next, we have to lube the lower punch. Get the lower punch, some barrel lube. And you have to shake the barrel lube up because there's Teflon in the uh, lubrication and you have to get it to disperse throughout the lubrication. One squirt is all it takes. One squirt, smear it on the lower barrel. After you have the lower barrel lubed, get some grease on the acid brush, put a nice film over the head of the punch, make sure you hit the outside diameter of the head and the back angle, being careful not to get it on the punch barrel. Once you have it greased, take it and insert it into the lower punch guide. After the lower punch, is installed, it's time to set the punch retainer in place. The purpose of the punch retainer is to keep the punch from dropping during operation. Now you tighten the punch retainer up until the punch will stay in its place under its own weight. If the punch retainer is too tight, it can damage the turret cams and tooling. After you have the punch retainer set, the MP500 has a lower takeout cam that needs to be put into place. Once it is installed, then recheck your punch heights to be certain your punches are not protruding above the die table. Next, check and be certain the anti-flight rail on the lower takeout cam does not allow for much movement. You don't want to pinch the head, but you also do not want the punch too high up out of the die. Next, install the upper punch. Again, lube the barrel using one spray of barrel lube and compression tooling grease for the punch head. Install the upper, and there you have it. Typically, it takes about one and a half to two hours to load a set of round tooling. Today, we showed you how to install tooling one station at a time. Generally, when you install tooling, you install all your dies, torque them down, all your lower punches, and then all your upper punches. Contact Natoli Engineering in the U.S. at 636-926-8900 or email np500techsupport at natoli.com.